welcome to the Gano, in the Gifu Prefecture of Japan. We start the tour by taking the bus from JR's East Nagano Station. After a mere 10 minute ride, we arrive at the entrance of the temple town. We can enjoy the walk towards Zenkoji, one of the most important temples in Japan. We can start by petting a sacred bronze tanuki statue. For good luck! Enjoy some of the finer details. Many Japanese cities were built around castles, but Nagano was built around a temple. There is a big street with many shops where you can buy some sweets. Don't forget to visit the tourist center, Virtue Light Temple which is the name of the temple, Zenkoji. The staff explained that the main hall was built 300 years ago. Zenkoji is considered a national treasure in Japan. After the quick history lesson, off we go. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. We enjoy many statues of the Buddha. It is said that the first Buddha statue in Japan was brought to this temple. The original is hidden, but a copy is shown to the public every six years. The next chance to see it happens to be in 2021. The main temple gate. We've now reached the entrance of the main temple hall. It's better not to film inside, to respect the spirituality of the place. You will find some stores, and especially a lot of Daruma dolls. At New Year, draw the left eye of the doll and make a wish. When your wish is granted, you can draw the second eye. Further along the temple grounds, you'll find a huge incense burner called Jokoro. People bathe in the smoke it emits, as it has spiritual and healing properties. The temple complex is huge. There is a pagoda, which hosts the Zenkoji History Museum. You can visit the museum inside, and you can also enjoy the massive park around the temple and some of the other temple premises. And before you leave, don't lose the chance to hear the Bonshu bell ring. Ah, so zen. Our spirit replenished. We continue our journey towards Jigokudani Snow Monkey Park. Back at Nagano Station, you can buy the Snow Monkey One Day Pass that will allow you to travel by train, bus, and give you access to the park. Let's jump on the Limited Express. Once we exit the underground station, the view from the windows is simply amazing. You can enjoy the marvel of technology that is Japanese trains all the way to Yudanaka station. Once you get off the train, you can take the bus all the way to the stop called Kanbayashi Onsen. For good measure, the driver will announce Monkey Park in English, so that every tourist knows where to get off. It will take you a few minutes to walk towards the Monkey Park using a forested mountain road. You can enjoy the nature 
and the calming sound of water. We finally arrive at the Japanese macaque's home. Just in time to see the monkeys grooming each other. Visiting during summer is not as romantic as in winter with the monkeys playing in the snow. But summer means there are so many little monkey babies, the little bull of furs. <coughs> I mean... Little monkey babies feeding with their mothers, playing in the grass, and going about a lot of monkey business. The park itself is not very big, but the monkeys are not afraid of visitors and it's quite easy to get close to them. There is a river and one little artificial onsen. The monkeys are wild and free, and are brought different kinds of food at fixed times during the day, which is why they decide to come down to the park and stay there during the day. Now they are eating seeds. And it's time for them to take a bath in the onsen. All the monkeys' kids want to play together. The younger monkeys don't hesitate to mess about in the water. It looks so relaxing in that onsen. And also along the poolside. Let's go and see what the other monkeys are doing. We can see somebody following her mum. Somebody else tries to escape. Everybody likes playing around. On the bridge, on the fences, on the ground, and on machines. Suddenly a park staff shows up to serve the last meal of the day. Are they apples? It sure looks tasty. The end of the day comes near and it's now time to slowly go back into the woods and up the mountains where the monkeys live and sleep. It was so nice being with the monkeys. Arigato! Bye bye! Time to go home! It's also time for us to head home. So we go and take the bus to the station. Where we grab a local train, which is not so fancy as the Limited Express. It will take a bit more time to go back to Nagano Station. But the view of the Japanese rural area and sunset is beautiful anyway. At Nagano Station, the Shinkansen is waiting for us to bring us back to Tokyo and we can have the final leg of our journey enjoying the comfort of Japanese technology. Mm -hmm.